2018 marks the centennial for the Battle of Bellwood, one of the most well-known battles in Marine Corps history and first large-scale battles in World War I. The battle started on June 6, but on June 1st, it began when German forces made their way into the French lines, next to the Marines' position. Then on June 2nd, 51st Company, 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines, under the command of Captain Lloyd Williams, was sent to support the French Army. As the Marines arrived, they found French troops retreating. As the French were leaving, they urged the Marines to do the same, but Williams responded with his famous words, Retreat? Hell, we just got here! Then at 3.45 a.m. on June 6, the Allies launched an attack on the German forces who were preparing their own strike. As the French attacked to the left, the Marines attacked Hill 142 to prevent flanking fire against the French. But hidden in the woods were German infantry with machine gun nests and artillery ready to fire. 1st Battalion, 5th Marines, commanded by Major Julius Terrell, were outgunned and undermanned, but they didn't hesitate as they ran through an open wheat field in waves with bayonets fixed as the Germans fired their machine guns and artillery. Many Marines were killed and injured during the attack. Marine Captain George Wallace Hamilton of the 49th Company were surrounded by German machine guns getting into position. Hamilton discovered the enemy before their guns were in position and attacked them with his bayonet and captured their machine guns. Hamilton was awarded two Distinguished Service Crosses and a Navy Cross for his gallantry. In the German counterattack on Hill 142, Gunnery Sergeant Ernest Jansen prevented the advance of 12 German soldiers, killing two with his bayonet before the others fled. These actions led Jansen to be the first Marine to receive the Medal of Honor in World War I. At 5 p.m. on June 6, the Marines advanced through waist-high wheat fields towards German machine gun fire. And it was here that Marine history was being made during the initial step-off for the battle, when Gunnery Sergeant Dan Daly prompted his men forward with his actual words, For Christ's sake, men, come on, do you want to live forever? June 6, 1918, 100 years ago, was a date that is seared into the collective memory of the United States Marine Corps. The Marines fought the Germans so viciously, legend has it that the Germans called them Teufelhunden, or devil dogs. And now, America's veterans made the supreme sacrifice for the cause of freedom. Rest in peace as freedom lives on. Semper Fidelis, 